What's up, Tube Tube? Um, here we are again at Le Guido's Chop Shop, the second best job blaster channel on the interwebs. And I am doing the um, Titan install into the Type 2 uh, Gel Blaster gearbox. Now, if you were watching my last video, you will know that I got up to the point where I was going to install the uh, mag terminals into the gearbox. And in order to do that, I've got this mag terminal block. It's a 3D print. Um, I got this from Chainsaw and it is for the Gen 9. So it is the Gen 9 spacing of the mag terminals. Uh, it's, they've obviously designed this to go with the APS box, but given that most of these Type 2 boxes are the same, it should be you know, relatively straightforward, but it never is. Um, this particular gearbox that I've got here has a little knob there and a slightly, you can see there's a little bit of a step there. So I've had to get a bit of a file and give that a bit of a file down so that I can get this to match up. Um, it's not 100% yet, I've still got to do a bit of a bit more filing on that um, just so that I can get that to fit there. Now on the other side there, there is a hole that lines up in that screw hole. I guess there's a hole that lines up there, so that will be okay. But on this particular gearbox, uh, there's no second hole there. So I'm probably just going to um, get some glue or something and glue to this half of the gearbox. Uh, so you can still take it apart without too much dramas. Uh, that should get get us in, going in the right direction anyway. Okay, so just uh, off camera there, I um, filed this out a little bit more, put a screw in here, and I have actually um, glued a screw in that side so that it holds it there. It seems, seems quite sturdy um, for what it needs to be. I mean, it doesn't, it's just got to hold the contacts in place and not move around too much, so it seems effective. Uh, now I'm going to have to open this box up again and uh, play that game. Okay, so let's pull all the screws out of this. Um, now, hopefully, the way that I've put this on, I should be able to crack the top half off. There we go and terminals will stay on there. Uh, now, why am I opening this up? Because I need to connect the mag wire to a positive and a negative. Um, now, it needs to run off of the same wires that the motor runs off of. Just going to remove this gear because it's a little bit in the way. Um, okay, so I'm not sure where the best place to tap off these wires is. Um, I guess the positive one is it's positive all the time, so it can be anywhere here. Uh, the negative one has to be on this side of the FET. Um, it's quite tight in here. These wires are quite thick gauge, so um, it's uh, not going to be easy to uh, tap a wire off one of those. So I've taken the um, top board off the Titan MOSFET so that I can see where the wiring goes a little bit easier uh, so I can work out where's the best uh, route to take my mag priming terminals. And uh, upon closer inspection here I think uh, I'm 
going to lose friends and alienate people, but I think that the best place to attach it is directly to the FET board here. Positive being here and negative being here. Um, I mean, I can't really run wires through here because it gets in the way of the, the sensors and the wires that are already in here are very tight like there's there's no room for more wires so looks like we're gonna solder directly to the circuit board here and here um, it's gonna be a little bit tight and truth be told Hindsight's a wonderful thing. I probably should have done this before putting the board into the gearbox. It would have made things a lot easier. But, you know, we're learning as we go. All right. You have to forgive me for not uh, doing this on camera, but uh, even uh, someone like myself, I mean, I am good at soldering and with the camera and the tripod and everything in your way and trying to reach around and it's I didn't want to take any chances with this so um, yeah I did it off camera just to make it easier because yeah it is very fine work and you don't want to mess it up not when you've got an expensive MOSFET like this so if you're not comfortable soldering directly to the circuit board like that then you should probably find someone who is <laughs> or uh, maybe this particular mod isn't for you. But yeah, so I've got um, the positive and the negative wires attached for the mag terminal. And um, I'm just going to have to shorten them and solder them to the terminals there. And we should be all good to go. So now the other end being the terminals. Now the tabs that come on these terminals I find are always too long. They stick out way too far, so I like to just chop them a bit short and uh, yeah, so I'm just going to chop them uh, with some tin snips. And that way they're going to fit a bit nicer in the uh, block there. There we go. Much better. Just going to shorten these wires to an appropriate length. Um, it's worth noting that um, the positive terminal is the one that's closest to the trigger, uh, at least with the M4 it is anyway. Um, it may vary with other blasters, but um, in this case with the M4, which is I think the most common configuration, positive closest to the trigger. So that means the one that you've uh, connected here, just there, is going to be going to this first one and then the one down here to the second one. Alright, I'm going to pull these terminals out um, of the block when I solder them because uh, 3D printed stuff, it's obviously formed by heat, so I don't want it getting too hot.
I should just be able to pop them back into their allocated slots. And they should work without giving us too much trouble. I will probably just put like the tiniest little dab of hot glue um, just to keep them from, yeah, just keep them in place and keep them from moving around, you know. Or maybe even some uh, super glue or something. Hot glue might not go too well on the 3D printed surface. But uh, I'll put a dab of something in there just to hold them in place. Focus. There we go. Alright, so I'm going to whack this box back together. Fingers crossed for the last time. Um... And be able to whack it in the receiver and test it out. Make sure everything's functional. Um, but for today, that is all I have time for. So I'm going to have to call it and catch up with you on the next time so don't forget to hey um i i, I know this is like a repetitive thing that all youtubers say and i say it uh because evidently people don't listen um subscribe to my channel uh hit the subscribe button down there because 73% uh, of my viewers are not subscribed. 73%! 73% of you guys haven't hit that button. And um, why not? It's free. Do it. It's awesome. Alright. Don't forget, um, you can also hit me up for patches and uh, all that sort of good gear as well. So... You know how. It's in the, it's in the description. Alright, peace out.